I'm wondering what's Jeff Bezos doing. Right. Can it's he, like, all right, can bro. Can he just bail everyone out? Just give us some, some You've got money. $130 million. Give some Boeings to some people. I'll take a Boeing. Yeah. He's got $130 million billion. You're like, okay, you know, not all rich people are evil. Let's see what you can do for us. I mean, we're in a time of crisis. Our government has, you know, screwed the pooch a little bit on the testing. Let's see what you've got. Quiet from Jeff Bezos. I feel like Jeff Bezos has a moral mm-hmm. responsibility to his society that has built him up and made him the wealthiest man to ever live. He need, Where is Jeff Bezos? Mm-hmm. Where is Jeff? Well, so far, Amazon is still working, too, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because the, you, all the worker... <sighs> Dude, it's not cool. Amazon's going to shut down. Yeah. The warehouse, once It's going to happen. It's mm-hmm. going to shut down. But he's got all of his workers working overtime. I've seen lots of articles of people complaining that the conditions mm-hmm. are not safe. He just he really seems more and more evil every week. Listen to this policy at Whole Foods, which is owned by Amazon. They say, let me read this to you. This shocked me to my to my core. <clears throat> Whole Foods wants workers to help pay some colleagues sick leave during the coronavirus. As Amazon corporate offers two weeks well uh, here, here it says wait, is this the one I was looking at? Here's a here's a quote. And a letter sent to employees earlier this week from the Whole Foods CEO, John Mackey. He says one option available to workers was for them to donate their paid time off days to a pool that other workers could draw from. What? Yeah. Why do they need to donate? You like that? <laughs> Amazon owned. Whole Foods is yeah. telling its employees to donate their own paid time off. I mean, now is the time. That's weird. Use your hordes of money. Because guess what? If we all die and society becomes dysfunctional, you don't get to make money anymore either. If you want to think <laughs> about it from selfish place. But Jeff Bezos, what are you doing to help us? Jeff, if you can hear me. <laughs> Jeff, can you he can't hear me. Alexa, tell Jeff to help us. He, he can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a super villain, bro. <laughs> Jeff Bezos, and now he looks more and more like um, Le- Lex, Lex Luthor more yeah. and more every day. <laughs> Where's Superman? It's like we have Lex Luthor, but no Superman. Mm-hmm. What a grim outlook. Um, Elon Musk <laughs> could have been a superhero, but he's too busy like memeing on Twitter. I feel like Elon's fallen a little bit. <laughs> and he's also like... Uh, corona ing it up in his offices. Mm. Well, he tweeted out a week ago, coronavirus panic is stupid. So he said panic is stupid, which I guess technically I agree with. But it was during a time when a lot of people were like, oh, mm-hmm. these people who are getting, you know. But even the panic doesn't look that stupid anymore. I mean, if if you can't leave your house... Whoever's stocked I mean, up on stuff. I understand. Probably the happy. Urge. I definitely understand the urge. And by the way, all the people that ho- that picked up on toilet paper aren't looking that dumb because they're sitting on a mountain of toilet paper and everyone else doesn't have it. <laughs> yeah. Although there are some incredible stories of like <clears throat> this dude who he he traveled. I mean, the guy saw the writing on the wall, so I guess props to him. But he traveled like between three states and bought eighteen thousand dollars worth of hand sanitizer. Right. And then he put it all on Amazon, price gouging, and then Amazon removed the listing. And he's just sitting on eighteen thousand dollars. That was a nice him. move from Amazon for once, I guess. Who yeah. Made, I mean But then I was like, Well, but we don't have any hand sanitizer, so it's kind of a sh- at right. the same time people need that. Well, anyway, what ended up happening is that the district attorney uh went to his storage unit with the police and made him donate it. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> he donated nice. to like a local church who was giving it out to everyone. Okay. So I guess in the end. But honestly, okay, so this guy's trying to profit off this. What about um, pharmaceutical companies that have been doing that every day? Yeah. You know, it's easy to demonize him. <sighs> I'm so, I'm so bitter right now. <clears throat> So, Jeff Bezos, everybody. I mean, seriously, how is it crickets from Jeff? What is he doing for us? 
He owes us. Um, he's probably busy furnishing his new two hundred and fifty million dollar house right, in LA. LA. Right, <laughs> that's probably that's probably true. Like, dude, help us with the test. We don't have tests. United States doesn't have coronavirus tests. We have the lowest tests per million people of the whole developed world. Jeff, make some tests. You're like a manufacturing god. Get us tests. <laughs> Do something. Build a hospital. You could build a ho- you could build twenty mm-hmm. hospitals. Be a good guy. God, I mean, how do you waste that opportunity when you have when you have that so much potential to help everybody? One hundred thirty billion. The guy's got so much money. He's like, what am I going to do with so much money? I'm going to build Blue Origin, go to space. He's like, I I don't have I have so much money. I can't spend anything. Help us. Help everybody. Right. That's right. This episode is getting very dark, Ethan. Well, I'm right, aren't I? Um, <clears throat> Here's the Amazon policy. on. They say, effective immediately. This is They, they issued this thinking they were being all such good guys. They go, effective immediately, all Amazon employees who are diagnosed with COVID-19 or placed into quarantine will receive up to two weeks of pay. So they have, they're waiting until mm. you get diagnosed. Or placed mm-hmm. into quarantine and getting like a note of quarantine from the governance. It's like, seriously? You want to wait until one of your workers is diagnosed with the virus? That means they've already fucking spread yeah. it everywhere. On the packages. You guys are sending out packages, workers are covered in Corona. I got packages on my door covered in coronavirus because of Jeff Bezos. By the, the way, fuck. two weeks is not going to be enough. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. They say up to two weeks. <laughs> <sighs> If we, Jeff can, if we can afford to pay all of our employees like without a limit right now, we're just told them, don't worry about it. You're all being paid. Well, I will say in our de- in our in our uh, def- or in the defense of other business owners who maybe can't afford it, we are able to continue our business. I don't know about Teddy Fresh. That that is probably going to grind to a halt. But at least here, our entertainment side, we're able to continue working with everyone. Yeah, but. But I'm I mean, talking Jeff about Bezos. Teddy Fresh, for example. Yeah, Teddy Fresh is going to grind to a halt. And actually, we have a we have a we spend a lot of money on uh, on everything. I mean, our costs there are really high. Right. We have like 15 employees. We're not the size of Amazon, but um, we're not worth 130 billion. Right. We're not even worth one billion. No, <laughs> but but um, I just feel like people need to take more responsibility as the company owners i 100 percent agree i and that like all these owners they have you know they they plan for these times and they put some money aside yeah and this is what it's for you got to float the company now and that means help your workers there are a lot of companies who are doing good who are like go home we're gonna pay i don't know i've i was looking at the <clears throat> there's the coronavirus subreddit mm-hmm. and i rarely go on reddit i don't know why i ended up there i like that subreddit. and it was so dark everything w- was so dark but some people there were saying their employees are still asking them to come to work mm. and they're like did you not hear the news like you even you're what asking com- me to come in to the office like someone was like I- all the work i do is on the computer i could totally do it from home oh and they're, they're asking me to come in and clock in the dogs just came storming in hey, hey shred yeah, that's rough, but like, okay, so you have to think about this. This is probably a small business, right? I mean, I don't know if it's a big business or a small business, but like a small business owner is like, there's like a lot a small of small business. businesses where like, hey, if you don't come in and work, I can't, I can't pay you. Yeah, no, so I'm not, I don't think that sounded like a small business. Yeah. I'm not talking about small businesses. Hey, Alfredo. Hey, you guys have a good one. I think the small businesses are going to get hit the hardest. That's the people who I fear yeah. for the most because... But there are so many big businesses. And they have no excuse. They, I yes. mean, people like Jeff Bezos should be pulling out the stops. Yes. Dude, spend $100 billion. You can make such a big difference. Yeah. And everyone will love your ass. Because you're a good guy and not an evil, greedy, hoarder piece of shit. Who makes your employees pull their own sick weights. Because you're sick days. Because you're too cheap to actually provide for them. 